Well, there are some growing concerns now over the spread of the coronavirus. World health officials are still measuring exactly how widespread it might be and what threats may pose moving forward. The uncertainty of the coronavirus is also having an impact on other aspects of the world, including the business community. And our lead I-team reporter, Andy Mahalshik, joins us now in the studio with the details. Andy? Well, Candace and Nick, that uncertainty has moved many people to action, and that action is impacting businesses right here in our region. What was here, we might sell a box or two a week. And, uh, you know, in no time, the, the 10 or 12 boxes that were there just disappeared. Pat Durham manages Cunningham Builders located in southern Luzerne County. It sells all kinds of items for home repair and construction. He says they can't keep masks on the shelves. He points out the masks that do remain are less expensive and would provide less protection for a person as far as breathing in any type of contaminant. So people are buying the more expensive masks, apparently for better protection. Are people coming in, are they saying why they're buying it or are they keeping it low key? They're pretty much keeping it low key. Yeah, we don't, uh, we don't say, oh, where are they? I need them because of this virus. There's not that, uh, not that panic. It's just a, I think I'll, you know, I'll get them just in case. People are asking about it. Uh, one of the main things that people are asking for masks, and right now the CDC is not recommending masks. John Keegan owns Heights Terrace Pharmacy in Hazleton. He says his supply of masks was sold out last week. Now, he's been a pharmacist for four decades. He says the coronavirus is a hot topic, and people are asking for advice on how best to protect themselves. The things we would recommend uh, with the flu be the same type of uh, um, uh, precautions that we have. That includes good hygiene practices like washing your hands and not touching your face if you haven't washed your hands recently. As far as his supply of drugs that come from China, no, not, not at this point, but I, but I anticipate some of, that, some of those problems. Bob Jones came into the pharmacy to pick up some prescriptions. He and his wife are planning a trip to Mexico in May, and the coronavirus is on his mind. Yeah, we're looking at getting in those uh, air masks, uh, respiratory masks or something like that. In an airplane, you're in a controlled environment. It's contained, recycled air. They say that's the most, I guess, uh, contagious way of being, getting, you know, getting exposed to it. Now, according to the CDC, there are at least 60 confirmed cases of the virus in the United States. None have been reported so far in Pennsylvania. Andy Mahal, Chicago Witness News. Andy, thank you. And economic analysts say that the uncertainty about the coronavirus is expected to have an impact on the global economy. In fact, as you may have seen, the U.S. stock market has taken a couple of big hits in recent days because of that uncertainty.